Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at this rather lovely looking portal. As you can see right here I've used spruce wood, a few fence posts and things like that and on the inside we've got this rather beautiful toilet bowl and on top of that we've got this lid so that you can cover up all the nasty things you do in there. Now in front of it I've got this obsidian wall just to protect it from the new TNT cannon that I've been developing. You know, I don't really fancy blowing up that absolute masterpiece over there. But as you can see, this is the TNT cannon. It seems to work really quite nicely. I mean, it fires the TNT and... Oh. What? Oh. I spent ages on that. It's just not on really, is it? Now, of course, this video has absolutely nothing to do with the portal which I showcased in the beginning, as beautiful as it may have been, it is instead to do with the Curve Cannon. This is actually a remake of a very old design on my YouTube channel. It was a very old but very popular video that I did called the TNT Curve Cannon, but as I say, extremely old, way before slime blocks, and I believe even before droppers and hoppers were introduced. So yeah, that thing's getting on a little bit. As you can see, this design is really nice and compact, it's only four blocks wide, and as you saw as well, it fires TNT at right angles. Pretty interesting. Now the way that this thing works, as you saw in the beginning, is it charges up one piece of TNT here, then another TNT comes along, they both get fired at the same time, then one of the TNT blows the other piece of TNT across, blowing up the target off to one side. It's a pretty cool little mechanic, and as you can see, the redstone behind it is really neat and tidy. I'm actually really happy with how I managed to do this one, so let's crack on with that tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 4x4 area, the first thing we're going to do is chuck down a sticky piston facing upwards with two slime blocks on its face, then you want to place a block right here, two dispensers facing across like that, then on top of those you want to place obsidian, and then your slime blocks on top of that obsidian just like that, with a block out the back like this, and a sticky piston facing in this direction. Then you want to place a block here with a button on top of that one. That's going to be your input. It's also going to power this dispenser right here. Then you want to place a block out the back like this. Go a couple blocks across like this with a block up like that. Redstone there, a repeater set to four ticks, another repeater set to four ticks, then a redstone torch on either side of that block. So now it's time to do the other parts of your circuits. You just want to place a dropper on the edge of this redstone torch right here with a hopper facing outwards like that. Then a block like this, a comparator running out of that hopper right there, a block up like that with redstone dust on top of that one, and then a block on top of your comparator, a repeater running out like this. That's going to be going out into a block, a block here, and redstone dust right there, which is going to be powering that sticky piston. And then you just want to chuck any old item into that hopper right there. Then underneath this block you want to place a sticky piston with a redstone block in its face and then down at the bottom here you want to place a couple blocks across like this with a repeater running out like that and redstone dust running into that block. I've just blown up my tutorial build and that's because I didn't set this repeater up here to three ticks. That's very very important so please do that. But anyway now all we have to do is fill in these dispensers with TNT and you're good to go. So if you just hit this button as you can see we get one TNT then a second TNT and then we've got ourselves a curve cannon. But unfortunately, ladies and gents, that's all I've got time for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Finally, you want to grab your TNT and chuck it into both sets of dispensers, just like this. So I'm going to fill up both of those with TNT because I've got lots of exploding to do. And then all we have to do is hit our button, and as you can see, one TNT, second TNT, and... Oh, no.